This is senseless. You are close, Mr. Black. Just a little further. DNA found. One matching profile. Robert Ramsey. You, you fucking bastard. Let me out of here now. This has gone on long enough. Calm down, Mr. Black. That glass is bulletproof, shatterproof and soundproof. Your words cannot reach me and your bullets cannot harm me. Now, move on. We are so very close to the truth. Present here, Mr. Black. Time for answers. You know the protocol by now. Let us see exactly what secrets you are hiding. How many times do I have to tell you? I'm not hiding anything. We have a name. Howard. He's the enemy. If only it were that simple, Mr. Black. lost everything when you stole the corner gun from me. It would make sense he'd want revenge. The only question is why would you have any memory of meeting him? The only memory I have of Roger Howard is the night I stole the corner gun. We'll see, Mr. Black. We'll see. This memory looks to be unstable. Disrupt it as little as possible, Black. Don't go in all guns blazing.
simulation or destroying everything will not help you. Find out what? I'm not hiding anything. You still take me for a fool. Look how many mercenaries there are, Black. A memory will only seek to protect itself in this manner if its owner doesn't want it to be examined.
substance recognized. Polytetrafluoroethylene sniper rifle cleaner. So tired of this shit. Me too, mate. Two months since we last got paid. This is bollocks. Contact!
intruder spotted. Last time we saw each other would have been... Let me see... When I stole the corner gun. Ah, yes. When you stole my corner gun for Robert Ramsey. Really, I should just have killed you on the spot. I'd feel so much better about everything. Then why don't you? You're so exquisite. So flawless in the way you ruined me and my company. I wanted to even the playing field a little. Do something similar to Ramsey. And I racked my brains and I just couldn't think of who would be the best man for the job. Then it occurred to me. Me? I'm Ramsey's head of security. Why would I work for you? man has his price, Slack. Especially you. I'm paid well. Yes, but not as well as you'd like to be. Not as well as you could be. It's not about the money. <laughs> that old chestnut. Okay, fine. Then how about this? According to my sources, Ramsey has a surprisingly accurate record of your criminal history. Far more so than the police. Seems to me he's got you over a bit of a barrel. Work for him, or go to prison. The way I see it, Mr. Black. You're his bitch. You sound jealous. I envy no man, Black. If someone has something I want, I take it for myself. So here's my offer, and I'll only make it once. You work for me, not Ramsey. I devise a plan to get Ramsey's Pandora device, and you carry it out. You name your price within reason, and if you're successful, I'll forget about the whole corner gun fiasco, and we'll both be on our merry way. How does that sound? If I refuse... You're alive because you're useful, Black. Don't get any ideas. No. Excuse me. I said no. I'm not sure I've been clear enough here, Black. Oh, you've been clear. But I refuse your offer, Howard. I'll not work for you. I'll never work for you. I'll not carry out this little plan of yours. I don't agree to any of it. I refuse.
time, so much energy figuring out who's to blame, yet you never stop to consider yourself. What the fuck? Ramsey! What's going on? I'm... I can put it. Closing the asylum. How are you doing this? What is this place? Oh, this place again. What's it all about this time? I'm afraid I haven't been quite straight with you, Black. My apologies. Right. Once and for all, what the fuck is going on, Ramsey? Where am I now? My memories, Mr. Black. Interacting with someone wearing the Pandora can sometimes create what I call synaptic bleed. Two-way traffic, if you will. <laughs> A flaw in the technology. And the asylum? Oh, forgive me. The asylum was necessary. Son of a bitch. That whole thing was just some big illusion. Simulation would be the correct term. The construct was of my own design, intended to keep your adrenaline at the optimum level for the technology to function efficiently. And the inmates? Patients are yours? The patients were nothing to do with me. I just provided the simulation. But the mind has a wonderful way of filling in the gaps. I show you a creepy old asylum, your mind populates it with lunatics. Likely just half-remembered characters from your life. Sometimes even films and books. Predictable, perhaps, but not unexpected. So you tricked me. This whole thing was a lie. Do you want to talk about lies, Mr. Black? Whose lies and tricks would you rather discuss? Mine or yours? I don't know what you mean. You know exactly what I mean. This is Grace's room. You remember her, Black. The girl you tried to save. My daughter. Of course! Then why were you there? You were my employee, Black. My head of security. You knew my daughter had been taken and you said nothing. I don't remember! I don't believe you. What about Lenore, my wife? What about her, Black? I don't know what you want me to say! She left me, Black. She blamed all this on me, and it wasn't my fault. I refuse to accept responsibility for the actions of some terrorist. Tell me what you know! All I know of her is what I've seen here, in your memories. I'm sorry, I can't help you. What about this man, Black? You remember him? I remember you, Ramsey. And I am sorry for what you've been through. But I tried to help. I just didn't get there soon enough. Please, let me go. Is that what you want, Black? To be let go? Of course. We had a deal. Let you go. Happy to, of course. 
But let me ask you this. Are there any circumstances under which you would not wish to be let go? What the fuck are you talking about? Welcome to my office, Mr. Black. Have a look around. I'm sure you'll be able to make sense of everything. What the fuck? This is me. More of your scare tactics, Ramsey. But it won't fucking work. Not anymore. You say you don't remember anything else? That you've told me everything? Then I don't need you anymore. You don't need me? If only you'd been a little more cooperative, things might have been different. Goodbye, Mr. Bray. Wait! I can for the memories. Robert! Don't do this! I'm sorry! I'm sorry for everything! Wake me up! Please! Just wake me up! Phase complete. Cerebral link, patient number Black 001. Pandora unit terminal disconnect. Would you like to commence archive data review, Dr. Ramsey? Uh, yes. Switch to Savant unit playback. Begin the review. Oh, and Hope, could you also fire up a coffee machine? Doctor, prior to review, my medical recommendation would be the implementation of a minimum four hour rest period. Further caffeine intake will only delay fatigue, not arrest it. Then make it a double shot. Three sugars. I also need a baseline memory to carry out the review. Which was the most stable from those recorded? That would be... this. 
Cached on initial Pandora system startup of Patient Black 001. Good. Then let us explore a complete memory before we review the broken. Proceed with interactive playback. <laughs> 